We are here in New York today at a pivotal time. We are building the future of iGaming. What are the winners of the iGaming industry in America going to look like in five years from now? We want to get to a point where the platform is able to go beyond what we can humanly comprehend. When we talk about self-learning, that's what we need to do, not anything less than that. Look forward, what can this technology bring and then bring that back into the iGaming industry? Very hard to bet on women when you don't see them, right? One of the things that I've enjoyed the most about the content is the willingness to rethink the format. It's been the first thing is what happens to GGR growth when bonuses come down. Are these businesses going to be profitable? Are the operators going to be profitable? And what's going to make them profitable? The most important issue moving forward for this industry is RG. This has been one of the best shows to bring people back post-pandemic as an industry, as friends, as colleagues. All of the events that surround the conference are equally as important. And whether it was the opportunity to be in a suite at the Yankees game, the opportunity to see New York from the 56th floor, or just the opportunity to meet and mingle with folks more at the ground level at dinners and bars, I would have to say that the supporting events around iGaming Next were as good, if not better, than the content itself. centralized platform, there has to be people contributing to the front end and the user experience for that. Regulation can be a, a very good strong force and we want it to be that. While there is more momentum, while we are moving faster, we should not mistake that with being able to move fast enough to actually get it done. Let's be honest, that's where the, the real money is. The future long term of this business is astronomical. It, it has no limits.